tonight, I'll tell you the wars of Leona, Diana, and Pantheon. Get your blanket, and let's get to it. On the upper slopes of Mount Darker, the warriors of Rakur. However, dark and speak is reserved for a special group of Rakur who answer to a higher calling. Members of this group, called the Solari, Solari were formed by a warrior who could call the raw might of the sun down upon his enemies in combat. He claimed Mount Dargan's summit, the point of Valoran, closest to the sun, for his solar devotion. Leona's parents were traditional Rakur, both bred for the heat of battle. To them, Leona was a problem child. She was capable of fighting as fiercely as any other, including her childhood friend, Pantheon. But she did not true worth of a soldier lay in her ability to defend and protect. When it was time for her right of core, a ceremony in which to record deeds, battle Rakur leaders ordered her execution. But when they tried to strike the fatal blow, sunlight burst forth, bathing Mount Dargan in light. As it faded, Leona stood. Solari immediately claimed Leona, demanding that her sentence be repealed. She donned the golden armor of the Solari, and they bestowed upon her the sword and shield passed down from the ancient sun warrior legend. Solari helped Leona focus her abilities so that she can bring light to even the darkest of battles. An unyielding avatar of the moon's power, Diana wages a dark crusade against the sun worshipping Solari. Though she once saw Years of futile struggle shaped her into a bitter, resentful warrior. She now presents her foes with a terrible ultimatum. 
when we are at the moon's light, or die by her crescent blade. Though she was born to the Solari, Diana's inquisitive nature set her apart from her brethren. She had always found solace and guidance in the night sky and questioned the dominance of the sun in her society. The Solari elders responded to her challenges with only derision and punishment. Diana remained convinced, however, that if she could find evidence of the moon's power, the elders For years, she studied Solari archives in solitude, until she discovered an encoded message hidden in an old tomb. This clue led her to a secluded valley on Mount Dorgan, where she unearthed Inside, among aging relics and faded murals, she found an ornate suit of armor and a beautiful crescent blade, both inscribed with sigils of the moon. Diana donned the armaments and returned. Artifacts proved others at once worshipped the moon as she did. Her discovery of evidence challenging Solari dominion shocked the elders. To Diana's horror, they pronounced her a heretic. sorrow overwhelmed her desire for acceptance. She lifted her gaze to the sky, calling upon the moon for strength. Lunar power surged within her, and she shattered her bindings. Raising her relic blade, she turned and slaughtered. ruins behind her, Diana resolved to destroy all those who would deny the power of the moon. Far above the clouds on Mount Dargan resides a stalwart tribe of people known as the Rakor, who still revere combat as ultimate art forms. They remember the rumors of Rundera and know that the League of Legends can only repress the rising tides of violence for so long. Each member of the tribe is bred Demacian armies only when outnumbered at least ten to one. Rogor warriors are trained not only to be as lethal with their bare hands as the most capable martial artists, but also of the tribe. Such treasures have been handed down from generation to generation, and have harnessed the mystery.
mystical nature of Rodera in their very cores. These relic weapons are among the most dangerous in existence, and it comes as no surprise that they have found their way to the league. This stone-faced warrior is a paragon of his people. Its very existence is an anthem of exaltation to the art of combat. Pantheon found it insulting that the people of Valar would install an organization place war, complete with so-called champions, without including the Rakor. Gathering the blessings of his tribe, and armed with the relics of his ancestors, he has descended on the league to show the world warrior. He cares not who he fights. He cares nothing for the pageantry or prestige of a league champion, but lives only for the austere glory of battle. As long as Pantheon breathes, And to enjoy your sleep.